as we look at Sid Vanderpool who will enter first because he lost the coin flip in this vacant championship. The leading contender engaging experienced free swinging south point of Kitchener Ontario a good all around athlete who once tried to play in the Canadian Football League with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Fine pedigree has two brothers who box and he went to the same high school as a fellow named Lennox Lewis an 11 and a half year pro who's won 35 of his 37 including a win over Glenn Johnson who last week knocked out Roy Jones his most notable fight was a loss to Bernard Hopkins in 2000 extending the executioner 12 rounds in a sloppy fight and he comes off a smothering win over tough durable Tito Mendoza in April Al, a very uh, confident guy uh, he's been uh, hit by the best and has an outstanding resume he really does and he's got quite an outfit for tonight as well which is pretty good now he's a fighter with all the experience in the world one of the questions he'll face is he's only had two fights since December of 2002 but he's used to making this walk into the ring Steve in an important fight and that's the edge he has over Lacey and look at him he's a confident uh, man right I wonder if he checked the temperature in the weather forecast <laughs> before he put that out. I don't know. He went to Brockton, Massachusetts to start his career because he idolized marvelous Marvin Hagler, not a bad role model. Former Canadian national amateur champion and 1992 Olympic alternate Sid the Jewel Vanderpool. He will have a stiff test tonight. As will Jeff left hook Lacey. Here is the undefeated Lacey who has made the most of a bumpy ride to this point, plagued by hand and eye problems, some concerns with his development, his quality of opposition. But there is no disputing his power, or for that matter, his character. One of nine children, several of his siblings went to prison, but the mature, soft-spoken Lacey wanted no part of that, as he has carved out a successful career in the ring. That said, is Jeff Lacey ready for this moment? You know, there have been people have debated this for the last couple of years, as you said, as he's fought a schedule that maybe something could have included a few tougher guys. It's a quantum leap. His own promoter, Gary Shaw, said this isn't just a step up against Sid Vanderpool, it's a big step up. As you can see, his team displaying his regional belts behind him. He's got a bevy of them. Jeff Lacey, who says he would like to neutralize Sid Vanderpool with the jab and the straight right, even though his nickname is left hook. He has a very effective right hand. It's probably his power punch. Vanderpool, uh, meanwhile, feels his experience. And Al touched on this, particularly in a world title fight, plus his speed will nullify the attack of Jeff Lacey. So both principals are in the ring. Terrific crowd, as you can see, assembled here at the Roman Plaza Amphitheater at Caesars in Las Vegas. And we are set to check the numbers as we go to the tail of the tape. And you'll notice almost everything is even except for the age where Lacey is five years younger, the height exactly the same. Not much of a difference in reach and at yesterday's way in Vanderpool, just a shade under and Lacey right on the super middleweight limit. And the key unified rules for this world title fight, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fight is ruled a no decision. If it happens after the end of round four, they'll go to the scorecards. So here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, we're getting ready for Sid Vanderpool versus Jeff Lacey for the vacant IBF Super Middleweight Championship. Let's get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the new Roman Plaza Amphitheater here at the home of champions, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. As we have a big night of action coming away, it's all brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with Caesars Palace and Showtime. At this time, we present the first of our world title attractions. This also made possible by Warriors Boxing Promotion. It is sanctioned by the IBF President Marion Muhammad, Supervisor Daryl Peoples, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Introducing to you are three judges scoring this bout from ringside. 
From Hillside, New Jersey, Larry Hazard, Jr. From Las Vegas, Nevada, C.J. Ross. And also from Las Vegas, we have Glenn Trowbridge. Introducing our third man of the ring, our referee in charge. He's working this, his 69th world title bout, Robert Bird. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing dark blue trunks with light blue and red trim, hailing from St. Petersburg, Florida. He weighed in at the super middleweight limit of 168 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 16 wins. No losses, one no decision, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is currently holding the WBC Continental Americas, NABA, and USBA super middleweight titles, ranked number four world contender by the IBF. And tonight, he attempts to become the first 2000 U.S. Olympian to capture a world title, introducing the undefeated Jeff Left Hook Lacey. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, this vacant world title attraction, wearing blue trunks with white trim. He is fighting out of it, representing Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. He weighed in at already 167 pounds. His record stands at 35 wins, two losses, with 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he is making his second attempt at a world title. Please welcome the IBF number one ranked super middleweight contender, introducing Sid, the Jewel Vanderpool. Once again, a referee in charge, Robert Bird, now to give instructions. Let's go one and one. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You had your instructions in the dressing room, gentlemen. Yeah. Only thing I'm going to tell you now is when I tell you stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing and give me a clean break. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Mr. Lacey, Mr. Vanderpool, this is a world championship fight. I fully expect a championship effort. Let's do it. Chance for someone to really step up and make some noise in the lackluster super middleweight division. Seasoned, energetic, quick-handed Sid Vanderpool, a crafty, occasionally flashy southpaw who hits, runs, holds, leaps in, looks to make it ugly. The physically imposing Jeff Lacey, unbeaten, a former Olympian, a reputation as a ferocious puncher, but tonight could be his biggest test. It may not be an easy fight for Lacey, but nothing's been easy for Lacey, who's had to deal with injuries, inactivity, and a new trainer. Here we go, round one scheduled for 12. Sid Vanderpool, the number one contender in the blue with the white trim. Jeff Lacey wearing the blue with the black trim. Vanderpool, the southpaw, experienced against top opposition, skilled boxer puncher, considerable power in his right hook, confident veteran who likes to stay busy. The youth and strength department belongs to Jeff Lacey, not the fastest starter in the world, very patient at the bell usually. Vanderpool's jab could be uh, really a big key in this fight because he, he, Steve, when he uses it as a double and triple jab, it really disrupts an opponent. And in, in Lacey's case, he's a very methodical fighter. We've seen that. So if you disrupt him, uh, you can make something good happen for yourself. Methodical, but make no mistake, prodigious power. Excellent combination puncher when he gets that going. Does have the terrific left hook, but doesn't rely on it all the time. Does have a wide array of weapons but much more effective when he throws in combination but dangerous with both hands this is a pretty big ring over 20 feet it'll give Vanderpool I think some room to maneuver in he's probably the man that will use his feet a little bit more in this spout 
against left handers uh, Lacey says he likes to use the lead right then come back with a straight jab and he just landed a nice lead right uh, Lacey that's the punch he would like to get in there even though he's as he's, of course he's got a very good left hook and that's normally a good weapon against the lefty and he's sparred with Winky Wright uh, a lot he was his friend of course and sparred with him for this fight uh, and you can't get better left-handed sparring than that, even though, of course, Wright is a lot smaller than him. Meanwhile, Vanderpool showing his hand speed in that last sequence. Beautiful left hook upstairs, or left hand in his case. And then a body shot with the left. And he hurt Lacey, Lacey. Yeah, Lacey. Momentarily stunned. But coming right at Vanderpool. Since Vanderpool got very wild, which he has a tendency to do, and may have been clocked with a punch himself when he came running after Lacey. Lacey complaining that uh, he was butted. A clash of heads. What a fascinating development, though, in round one for young Jeff Lacey to be hurt by a body shot this early in the fight. That's really intriguing. Usually the other way around with Lacey. Final seconds of the opening round, and already a little drama. These two not holding back here in the opening three minutes. Getting right to business. Well, the weather here is ideal. The temperature 87 degrees, clear skies, winds are light. Delightful conditions here in the desert for tonight's triple header. Double it up, double the jab sometimes, or follow with the right hand. You shift this Closure guy hasn't listened, Closure hasn't listened. All right, you know, keep them hands up, keep your head moving. Relax, relax. A drink? Okay, yeah, take a drink. Come on, stay busy, stay busy. Okay. I know you're good. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Sid Vanderpool with a very good body shot. Now, a little bit low, but not really, right on the belt line. And it sent, oh, actually, Lacey was dabbing at his eye there. I wonder if it was the um, the body punch that hurt him. So that re replay revealing that it might have been something with his eye that bothered him. Well, he has had the chronic swelling issue above and around his left eye, which uh, at one point in one fight reached freakish proportions. He had a nasty cut over the same eye, requiring 22 stitches after his fight with Richard the Alien Grant. Here comes Vanderpool again with that straight hammering left. The trick to this fight, and I'll, boy, I'll, I'll stick by my keys on this one, and I think we're seeing evidence of it. When Vanderpool attacks with combinations, it freezes Jeff Lacey. And not many 168 pounders are going to throw combinations as quick or as often as Vanderpool. And it's giving Jeff Lacey some issues early. A lot of movement by Vanderpool, of course, no surprise. You see the difference in ring experience stop, 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 in stop, stop. Vanderpool's favor. Don't, do don't, do don't do that. Don't spin him. Don't do that. <laughs> a veteran's trick. <laughs> Jeffrey Bird said, don't do that. <laughs> don't spin right, him stop, around, stop, the instructions stop, 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 stop. from referee Robert Bird. Come here. Come here. Come here. You guys keep this thing clean right here, right now. You understand? Let's go. Sid Vanderpool is fighting a textbook match for him so far. He's making it messy on the inside. He's annoying Jeff Lacey with some questionable tactics. And look at that, he's landing a lot of counter punches now. And back comes Lacey with some vicious shots. Measuring Vanderpool out and firing. But missing the last two. Vanderpool though wants this. He's trying to play possum in the corner. Whether he wants to land a counter shot right now. Vanderpool, who took it. the best bird on Hopkins had to offer, now taking Lacey's best. He lured Lacey in, and then he whacked him with about four great counter punches. The tricky, crafty well, Sid Vanderpool. We said earlier he would try to turn this into an ugly fight. 
And he is apparently doing just that. Now dancing around, firing the left, now the right, and another right over the top. But not an ugly fight that's not exciting. It's a little messy like it was supposed to be for him, but a lot of punches being landed, and uh, he is leaving himself when open when he throws some of those counter punches, Steve. Step but Lacey, not the quickest fighter with his hands in the world, so Vanderpool's getting away with it. If Sid has a weakness, I break it is no in step out, step out. his defense. Let's go. A very quick pace for a 168-pound fight early in the second round. And Vanderpool dishing to the body. Oh, those are good body shots. It uh, really stopped Lacey in his tracks. And then a right hand upstairs by Vanderpool at the bell. That's all, guys. Get that pressure. Everything's OK. No marks, no swelling. Get, get it to him. Look for that. When you have another ropes, look for that right uppercut. It's right there. It's here. Right up the middle. Boom. Left hook. Uh, nice work. Nice work. Stay close to him. Work about real it, close, though. You got to let your hands go more, especially that last minute. You guys got to be Breathe. careful with your hands in there, okay? Yeah. Keep your hands high. Keep your hands high inside. You okay? Look for that right up, up the middle when you have one of Get him in the corner so he can't do nothing with you. This action against the ropes, Vanderpool laying on the ropes but countering very very well throws the right hook keeps throwing it and there's the good straight left hand that hurt lacy sid vanderpool throwing a variety of punches attacking to both the body of the head and counter punching very very well and lacy getting his own left hook in at the end of the robin you notice how vanderpool grabs him and holds on to him this is a very cagey veteran this is what you would expect of two highly ranked fighters who smell a championship belt. Lots of action over the first couple of rounds. Round three scheduled for 12 for the vacant IBF 168-pound title. Vanderpool said many are picking Lacey to win, but now I'll get an opportunity to make my own history in the same arena where many said that Sugar Ray Leonard could not beat marvelous Marvin Hagler. You know, Vanderpool, and we asked him about Bernard Hopkins, and we said, did you learn anything in that fight? And he smiled, and he said, I didn't learn anything during it. After it, and I watched that tape, I learned a whole lot. And I thought that was a revealing and interesting answer. I asked him, were you surprised you could take his power? And he said, I was surprised he could take mine. <laughs> He's confident. Chance of let's go Sid from many of his fans who come from Canada. A famous Canadian in the crowd, Wayne Gretzky and his wife, Janet Jones. Uh, his uh, daughter sang the national anthem a little bit earlier and did a nice, oh, Canada, and did a nice job. The great one on hand. Now, Vanderpool now, look, after uh, two rounds of being very aggressive, making his point, now he said, I'm going to box a little bit. I'm gonna, I found out that I can counterpunch. I'm going to make Jeff Lacey come to me because he may feel the urgency to do that, and I'll see if I can counter him a little bit. Past the halfway mark, round three. Vanderpool continues to score, gets in and out, frustrating Lacey. Lacey with a big right hand. Oh, and another right to the head. Oh, stop, 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 stop. You hold him, let him go. Let's go. Now, see, Lacey was working on the inside, and uh, that's very important for Jeff. He has, when he's in there, he can't be inactive with Vanderpool. And, and Sid Vanderpool, by the way, I think is one hold away from getting a point deducted. And appropriately so, I might add. Oh, look at that. A right hand and a countering left by Vanderpool. Both scored. Jeff Lacey's getting himself back in the fight a little bit, though. There's the jab of Vanderpool, which, of course, is very effective. But Lacey's giving himself a little something to work on in this round now, a little confidence. An impressive jab by the Jewel. Keeping Lacey at bay, but now Lacey with lefts and rights and hammering away. Final seconds of the third. Lacey going for the home run on every throw. Bow, 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 that's all.
great fight. Let's go to the great one with Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Steve. Wayne Gretzky here tonight. Sid Vanderpool is from Ontario. That's where Wayne is from. Sid called and asked if his daughter Paulina would come and sing the national anthem after he heard her sing at the World Cup. How great a thrill was it for you tonight to be here in the ring and hear your daughter? Yeah, my daughter's great. She's only 15 and she sang the Canadian anthem twice now, once at the World Cup and once tonight for Sid. I said uh, it was great luck for us at the World Cup. Hopefully it'll be good luck for Sid tonight. And you're a huge boxing fan, aren't you? You come over to Vegas from time to time. Oh, yeah, we're close to Vegas. You know, we live in California only a half hour by airplane. So it's nice to come over. It's a great feeling to be sitting outside in the uh, fall time and enjoy a good fight. Hopefully the Canadian wins. Wayne, I want to ask you, everybody's wondering, is there going to be a hockey season? You own the Phoenix Coyotes as an owner. You're the greatest player in the history of the game. Will we have a hockey season this year? Well, I'm optimistic. I hope so. I think that they'll, they'll get together and figure this out. Wayne, thank you for your time. Enjoy the fight. Thank Congratulations you. on your daughter. Thank you. Steve? All right, Jim, and we'll be in Phoenix next month for Showtime Championship Boxing for Kostya Zoo versus Sean Bay Mitchell in the arena that the Coyotes would be playing it if there were a season. Now, Jeff Lacey's figured something out. In the keys, I said that the right hand of Lacey, after Vanderpool, oh, there's some wild action. Speaking of ugly. Yeah, after Vanderpool throws a left, Lacey can land his right, and he did it about four times in that last round. So that he's figured it out, and that's going to be a key weapon for him down the stretch of this fight. It's one of those fights, Al, where you just toss the notes and just enjoy the action. It's a very, been a very, very entertaining match so far. We've had a lot of twists and turns in terms of strategy and what's been effective and what hasn't been. Vanderpool continues to ride the bike and fire away. Gets himself off the ropes as Lacey digs to the ribs. And give Jeff Lacey a little credit. This young man is facing his baptism of fire against the first really, really good opponent he's faced. He had a rough couple of rounds. Mentally, he's gotten himself back on track in this fight, along with the help from Dan Birmingham, his trainer, and now he's fighting very well in this fight. Vanderpool, the southpaw, and the blue trunks with the white trim. Lacey, the conventional fighter, the dark blue trunks. 2000 Olympian Jeff Lacey looking to be the first from that class to win a world title. Beautiful sequence by Vanderpool. When he attacks with combinations as he did there, he freezes Jeff Lacey. Lacey just missing with that heavy right. Lacey is getting the worst of those powerful exchanges. Body shot blocked by the right elbow of Lacey. There, this is as action-packed as this is. It's a fascinating cat and mouse game going on in there. Each man trying to counter what the other does. Trying to stay one step ahead of the other. Vanderpool just flicking the jab, and the chief is setting it up for the left for accommodation. There's an example of Lacey maybe wanting to work a little on the inside, or should be working. Six seconds for the bail, guys. Oh, a low blow just before the bell by Vanderpool. He knows he got away with it. He's, tra he's just trying to catch you with that right hand. All right. right? Ready, That's his whole goal. Deep. He's trying to catch you with the right hand, and when you shoot in, he's trying to catch you with an uppercut. Okay. Right? That's the one puncher that I haven't seen you throw. Well, this is where they both ended up uh, on the canvas, and you see Vanderpool really creating this by, uh, well, he ended up on the canvas. He, he created it by grabbing Lacey, and that's what he wants to do. He wants, doesn't want to give Lacey a chance on the inside. Vanderpool will throw the left, and there's the counter right by Lacey. Now, the interesting thing is, neither of those punches landed and were effective, but the reason to show that replay, and it's a very valid one, is that's the strategy of this fight right now, and you heard them in the corner of Vanderpool explaining that. Lacey just wants to hit you with the right hand. 
Round five scheduled for 12 for the vacant IBF Super Middleweight Championship. There have been no knockdowns thus far in the fight, but tremendous action throughout. And how about the work in uh, uh, in the corner of Sid Vanderpool? Uh, they they knew very well uh, that the right uppercut was something that people were calling for in Lacey's uh, corner, which we had heard already. And he knew that just from a couple times Lacey was trying to throw that punch. So good work in the corner of Vanderpool. Everton McEwen, mm -hmm. the chief trainer in the Sid Vanderpool corner. Jeff Lacey has Dan Birmingham reunited with Lacey. Yep. Also a very fine trainer. Came back in Jeff's last fight, had over 100 amateur fights with Lacey, also trains Winky Wright. He saw three jabs there by Vanderpool. That is so vital to him being effective in this, in this match. What appears to be a very close one to this point, round five. Some vicious shots. And very close along press row, as you can see. I've got a 39-37 uh, Vanderpool, so I thought it's interesting that uh, Lacey score in there. <laughs> Vanderpool goes to the body but takes a big chance when he does that because his hands get very low and Lacey's being very aggressive in this round. And Lacey does have one punch KO power. Particularly with that overhand right. And not bad with the left as well. A lot of steam. It's been a, a pretty good round five for Jeff Lacey. He's been a little bit more aggressive. Even though, and when Vanderpool doesn't use the jab, he's able to work his way inside. Lacey now stalking Vanderpool around the ring. As Al pointed out, it's a big one. A little uppercut, and then a cross by Vanderpool, a barrage by wow. Sid Vanderpool. That was beautiful work in, against those ropes by Sid Vanderpool. That was just superb. Right out of the textbook. And he made this round a very close one. Oh, my. Lacey with a hammer. And Vanderpool scored as well. Vanderpool throws that left a little wide and diminishes its power, and that's the only reason he didn't hurt Jeff Lacey worse. Wow, what an excellent round five. How interesting. Lacey waved it up as if to say it didn't hurt. Which oftentimes means you did. Walking away was Lacey thinking the round was just about going to end. Time! That's a tough round to score. Much better round. Much better round. Let's spread around. Keep the pressure on this guy. Okay. When you get close, don't back up. Step up like we've been working. Okay. I'm breaking him down. I know you are. He's going to give but you the ring, but you got to be careful when you close in. Okay. Him. Keep your hands up and keep your jab moving. Don't let him score points with that jab, all right? All right. That's all you got to do, and then put the pressure on him. Jeff Lacey getting Vanderpool against the ropes, but Vanderpool throwing a series of punches, not just the uppercut and the right hook, turns him around, rips him to the body and the head. That's just superb, getting off the ropes and landing while you're doing that. And at the end of the round, both men throwing bombs. The right hand by Lacey, probably the best, but then that left hand is excellent by Vanderpool. So both men throwing punches designed to create a knockout. You hear Jeff Lacey in the corner. He told Dan Birmingham, I'm breaking him down. And then Birmingham shot back. Don't let him pressure you. Round six. Lacey perhaps sensing something and continues to fire away, but undaunted is Sid Vanderpool. Well, Vanderpool really wants the counter punch right now. So Jeff Lacey, it is true, is coming forward, being aggressive, and mostly doing a good job, but he's also getting hit with some counter punches. Lace, but Vanderpool is really playing a dangerous game. Let's be honest. Je this is America. Jeff Lacey is the young prospect. Maybe more people know him here, and this kind of action is going to impress the judges, even if Vanderpool is counterpunching because he's letting the other man come forward. Lacey swinging for the fences here, pounding to the body, looking to wear Vanderpool out. They say take the body and then the head will fall. 
We'll see if well, that's in the cards for Jeff Lacey here. Vanderpool can land that jab whenever he wants. I, he, you know, it, he's underusing that punch dramatically as far as I'm concerned. Vanderpool throwing more punches, but Lacey's punches seem more effective. Good straight left hand to the nose by Vanderpool. Didn't have a lot of power behind it, but it got in. Lacey really trying to cut off the ring now. Vanderpool firing to the midsection and then upstairs. Now Lacey answering back with body shots. And then Vanderpool with a left hand. Non-stop action. This is, this is just a really fun fight. Two fighters fighting as well as they can fight right now. Jeff Lacey has stepped up against a, a good super middleweight, and Sid Vanderpool himself is fighting as well as he can fight. Virtually no let-up. Look at this exchange. Toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Lacey. Seconds left in the sixth. What's holding set up? Oh, oh, right oh, uppercut oh, by oh, Lacey. Oh, right oh, on oh, the jaw. Oh, 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 oh. You talk about heart. Sid Vanderpool can barely stand. Now wisely oh, hangs oh, 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 on. Let's go. Only his clever ring generalship has kept Vanderpool up in this round. Wicked shots, bombs by Lacey. And yet Vanderpool stays on his feet. This round, we're going to keep our hands up okay. with maximum defense, right? And right. hey, move. It's because you're punching wide, you let. Well, they told him it's because you're punching wide that you're getting hit. And that is exactly true for Sid Vanderpool. Throwing those wide punches, some of those body shots getting in, but by throwing the wide punches, he leaves himself open, and that uppercut, which was the punch they've been asking for from Lacey, is what really hurt Vanderpool. And straying a little bit low is Lacey trying to land that uppercut again. What a great sixth round. Tremendous round for Jeff Lacey as we begin round seven for the vacant IBF Super Middleweight Championship. Both guys showing their hunger for this championship belt. Unbelievable resolve on the part of Sid Vanderpool to stand up to that stop, attack stop, stop, by Jeff stop. Lacey in the six. And Lacey has come back now, in my mind, to make this uh, uh, a very, very close fight. He's only one point down on my scorecard. Lacey again with a right hand. But that may be academic, but he's hurting Sid Vanderpool. Will this go to the judges? Stop, 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 stop. Right now, Jeff, Jeff Lacey Jeff, with other that. ideas. Cool. Sid Vanderpool, who looks totally exhausted, hanging tough. Can he get a second win after this attack, this assault by Jeff Lacey? And some of that is due to the fact that Lacey has gone to the body a little bit more in the last three or four rounds. And he is a very, very heavy puncher. The press row people, Mark Butcher from BoxingLV.com, Doug Fisher, MaxBoxing.com, Kevin Ioli, Las Vegas Review Journal. Two have Lacey ahead, one has What's Vanderpool. Head, I have 58-57 Vanderpool as Fisher did. Uh, so, but of, obviously these rounds very close. Now Lacey backing in the corner like he might want to counter punch a little bit. Let's see if he does. So now it's Lacey playing a little possum. The difference is Vanderpool has a great jab. He can stay there all day and do that. He was setting up for the right was Lacey. Batting 
practice for Jeff Lacy. And Lacy throwing more combinations Stop. now. Don't push, okay? All right, let's go. Not on the ropes is where Vanderpool wants to be. Not on the ropes. Not against this man. Vanderpool landing nice shots, but he's slapping with those punches, and they're not having as much impact as he would like, but he's coming back in his fight again. Vanderpool offers up a combination upstairs, but it doesn't stop Lacey from coming forward. Vanderpool has to be in unbelievable condition to withstand this pressure. Another straight right hand through the gloves by Lacey. Stop, I got stop. About time. It's done. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm coming back. Okay. Good. Listen, he's tired. Yeah. He's expanding himself. That's fine. But listen, know this. You're going to have to push him back now. Okay. now you're going to have yeah, to well, start both working. Both of you guys, watch your heads and, and watch your low blows, okay? Both okay, of you. Okay, sir. All right? You're going to have to start backing him up. All right. Right? Like boom, 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 pull out. Remember, he's Josh, waiting for you. Both of you guys, watch your right? heads and watch right. Now, what you want to okay? do is, when he's sitting along, along the rope, you throw the straight. Get your wind. Take some deep relax. Hold your mouth open and just breathe normal. Just hold your just mouth relax. open. Just relax. Just breathe normal. Right, swallow this one, Jeff. Swallow this. Swallow. Okay. Close your hands. Set us out. Go. We need this round two, Jeff. We need this round big. This fight's close. Keep him on his heels. Keep him on his heels. That left eye that we have talked eight, about. Eight, eight, eight. Just above the left eye of Jeff Lacey is beginning to swell now. We'll see if that impacts on the uh, outcome of this one. Tell you what, there are two fights to go, but I think many of these fans here already at the Caesars thinking they've gotten their money's worth. Yeah, we still have Uma and Phillips and the heavyweight mop to come. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your In heads. In a rematch of a slugfest. Vanderpool has been 12 rounds three times and Lacey twice. We'll be looking for signs of who will fade. Some of that is due to who's hurt the most at any given time. Round eight scheduled for 12 for the vacant IBF super middleweight title. In a shallow division, one of these two guys can emerge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pick him up. You wouldn't know by luck in this fight tonight. It may be shallow in certain areas, but Not here. these two guys are fighting very, very well. They can really seize a tremendous opportunity and, and really blossom the stars. Good work on, by the uppercut by Lacey on the inside. It's just been very effective for him. And Vanderpool, if he lays in there, it's still going to keep happening. He needs to be in a place where he can throw those jabs, Vanderpool. A it's continuous a flow of punches by Jeff Lacey. A terrible strategic move by Vanderpool to fight on the inside this whole round. And against the ropes. He is being pummeled. Robert Fred looking very close. It could be almost oh, over. Oh. That's it. You know what? No. And Vanderpool doesn't like the judgment by the referee. Give Jeff Lacey so much credit. A very rocky start in this fight. The chance of USA from the crowd here celebrating Jeff Lacey's victory and his first That's world title told. as he gets hugs from Winky Wright there. Yeah, who of course uh, recently became a champion himself and understands the elation that Jeff Lacey's feeling. And a totally different story in the Sid Vanderbilt corner. What a gallant effort though by Vanderpool and a show of strength and power by Jeff Lacey. No, no more questions about Jeff Lacey. Uh, tough beginning to this fight, and he persevered through that. It's really his career in microcosm. He showed a grittiness and a poise 
that you really, really didn't know he had until tonight, for sure, and he probably didn't even know it for sure. Yeah, he stepped up big time tonight, and he rose to the occasion. And we will see how he was able to put an end to this fight. Sid Vanderpool made a terrible strategic move, just laying on the inside this whole round with Lacey. That's his office, and the uppercuts kept coming until finally Vanderpool was in such trouble that Lacey was able to tee off with a variety of punches. Just can't lay on the inside with Lacey, and he is ripping those shots. That left hook uppercut was certainly the one that hurt him the most. Referee Robert Byrd watching very carefully, as he should be. And he's thinking of stopping it there, doesn't, decides not to. And then as, as Lacey continues to get after him, he stops the fight. I guess you could make a case he might have let him go a little longer, but not too much uh, complaint as we see it from another angle. Not too much complaint from Vanderpool about it. The uppercuts were, of course, what got the job done and did most of the damage. And Vanderpool still trying to counterpunch at this point, but would soon be unable to do so. And what you have to like about Lacey's performance is the variety of punches. Uppercuts, hooks, body punches, straight right hands, counter right hands. He showed a complete arsenal of punches against a very good veteran fighter who tonight came with his A game. And that's how it ended. Perhaps uh, a, a sense of urgency as Lacey reacts, climbs up on the turnbuckle as his eye was beginning to swell. He may have just said to himself, I got to get this thing over with now. You almost see a great sense of relief in him that nobody's going to question me anymore. I've finally gotten to that place where I've proven myself in boxing. We are set for the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 37 seconds in round number eight. A referee in charge, Robert Byrd, stops the contest. He's the winner by way of technical knockout. Now the first 2000 U.S. Olympian to win a world title and the new IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Jeff Left Hook Lacey. St. Pete, Florida native Jeff Lacey. After he was ousted in the Olympics, his promoter Gary Shaw told him, don't worry, you're going to be a world champion and nobody will ever remember what happened in the Olympics. Well, Lacey didn't get a medal, but he has a world championship belt. Congratulations to Jeff Left Hook Lacey.